Hello, my name is Weiser. Welcome to another Hearthstone Arena run. Hopefully this will be a good one. Let's see what options we have today. Jaina, Hunter, or Warrior. Warriors aren't bad, but they don't... I think they need some combinations. I think Hunters, honestly, also need some combinations, but a lot of it centers around Unleash the Hound, in my opinion. Mages are probably the most straightforward, but they're kind of boring. Let's go for the Hunter. Let's see what we can do. I'm not great with Hunters, but we'll see. Mm. Wild Pyromancer is not bad if I have some spells. Abomination is decent board clear, and I could probably need it. This isn't bad if I could make sure I had a minion on the board, but this is harder on a Hunter. If I was a, say, uh, whatchamacallit, a Paladin or uh, the Shaman, I might use it, but since I'm not, I think I'll go for the Abomination. Unleash the Hound, definitely taking it. It's just such a good card. Explosive Trap is also pretty good. I also want things that scale with Unleash the Hound. Um, I think in this case, I'd rather take the Lord of the Arena. It's a pretty good taunt. I mean, Charge is a pretty good finisher, but it's a little risky. Now, here we have a few options. Cult Master scales with Unleash the Hound. Good card draw. Explosive Trap is also fairly useful, though. And I only have one unleashed to have. I think an explosive trap is pretty good. Mm, I mean, arcane shot is pretty good at getting rid of stuff. But I do also need minions. Arcane shot, bloodfin raptor. But these aren't really amazing minions, so let's go for the arcane shot. It's fairly useful. Oh, these are all really good. Hunter's Mark has some synergy with Unleash the Hound. Killed Command is pretty good removal. Fin Creeper is a goddamn Fin Creeper. It's nice. Ah, tough decisions. Let's go for a Kill Command. It is pretty strong single target. So is Hunter's Mark. Ah. Well, I could finish the game with a Kill Command, though. Let's get one of those. Do I want three explosive traps? That one seems like too much. Let's go for a Frost Elemental instead. We do need some minions. Bludge Forge Rifleman is? It's okay, but I think I like the Fairy Dragon more. It's not affected by hero abilities. Or spells. Makes it pretty useful. This is not a good idea. Questing Adventure may be a good idea, but it's risky. I need a lot of spells to make it work, and I don't really have any low-cost spells. Or cards, I mean. Let's go for Explosive Shot. I think for the most part, I'm okay with AoE. Ooh, Timberwolf. Right with Unleash the Hound. Raging Worgen's not bad. I don't have that many spells, though. Like, this doesn't help the Explosive Trap. It does help the Arcane Shot and Explosive Shop, though. I think I'll go with the Timberwolf. It has some synergy with Unleash the Hound. Animal Companion is more minions. Multi-Shot is very effective removal, though. That's actually the thing I don't... I think this Hunter is too good at. It has a lot of AoE. has single target with... Really good single target with uh, Hunter's Mark, Kill Command. The thing that just kills a random minion. Multi-shot makes it so even if you have two minions, this is very high value. But I do need a minion. I have, I'm having too many spells. I've screwed myself over with too many spells before. Let's go for an animal companion. Starving Buzzard, great synergy with Unleash the Hound. But we have to keep in mind, I only have one Unleash the Hound, so... Shouldn't go too heavy. Oh, these are pretty good. This is worthless. This could destroy a big minion, but really so could the Gladiator Longbow. You're immune when attacking, so you don't take any damage. As a hunter, you do have poor removal with like your ability, because it literally does not remove stuff. Let's go for the Gladiator Longbow. Do I want another Starving Buzzer? Okay, um, besides Unleash the Hound, how many other minions do I, beasts do I have? N not much. I think I'll go for the Argent Squire. It is a pretty good one cost. Though this, having two Starving Buzzard would make it more likely. You know, we're going for two Starving Buzzard. No more, though. Uh, Hunter's Mark or another Animal Companion. Let's go for the Animal Companion. I need more minions. Specifically beasts. I don't have any buffs, so this isn't great. I think I might go for a Scarlet Crusader. BDMA Bodyguard isn't bad, but as a 4 cost, or 4 health minion, it's actually removed fairly easily for its cost. Scarlet Crusader is a pain in the ass to deal with. Or at least can be. Ooh. I know not a lot of people will run Flare, but what am I going to run? Young Priestess? This dies too easily. 
So we'll run Flare. We'll either use this cycle, but we can also give her some stealth, some secrets, so it has some usage. Again, I don't have fucking buffs. These aren't very good without buffs. So I'm gonna take a snipe. I could take a molten giant, that's not bad. I Snake Trap does have synergy with the Starving Buzzard though. Yeah, this this could work. I have two star starving buzzards. I do need to trigger them somehow. But I also need some minions, so let's go for an Ancient Brewmaster. Second Unleash the Hound, definitely taking that. Alright, so I have two Unleash the Hounds now. Uh, Scavenging Hyena is really good with two Unleash the Hounds. Um, This is a beast, but it's not a great beast. But I do have Starving Buzzards, so... Alternatively, I could take this uh, Mogashan Warden. It's not a great champion, but it is a 1-7, so it's hard to remove. At least delay for a while. River Crocolis really only benefits for the Starving Buzzard. And I guess uh, Scavenger Hyena. I think I'll go for Mogashan Warden. It's not a great card, but it, it needs something. This gains the attack card equal to what my weapon. This is really only useful if I pull the Gladiator Longbow. This becomes a 7 3. Otherwise, it's kind of worthless. Oasis Snapjaw is a. Beast, so it has some synergy. Multi shot is not bad, but I think I need more beasts. So let's go for the Oasis Snapjaw. Oh, Tundra Rhino. Your beasts have charge. Great. Definitely need more, need more beasts then. Uh, Dragonling Mechanic is not a beast. Freezing Trap is. How many traps do I have? I have one, two, three. I don't actually have. I have four traps. I could take a Snipe, I can take a Dragonling Mechanic. Let's see, what is the Dragonly mechanic has no synergy with anything really. I need. Yeah, it doesn't synergize with a thing. Reason Trap doesn't get rid of the minion though. It's okay against buffs, I guess. But I'm not sure how these trigger. That's a problem. Let's take a snipe. I think a snipe would be a little more dependable. War Golem's nice. Gurbashi Berserker's nice. I think we'll take the Silverhand Knight though. That's a little more stable for me. I can't actually trigger the Gurubashi after all. We can go for another Scavenger Hyena. That's not a terrible idea. Because it does have synergy with the Snake Trap and the Unleash the Hounds. Or we can go for the Tundra Rhino. That is tricky. The biggest problem with Unleash the Hound though, it is actually, it wipes out a lot of my stuff too, doesn't it? What do I want? I have a lot of two costs. I don't really need more. Let's go for a Tundra Rhino. And I guess we'll go for a Sunwalker. Nothing else here really is that... Well, a Secret Keeper could be interesting. I do have a lot of secrets. Yeah, let's go for a Secret Keeper. This could be interesting. Overall, this deck has decent AoE. A lot of Unleash the Hound synergy that we need to make work. But, I mean, that's... From my point of view, as someone who doesn't play Hunter a lot, Unleash the Hound synergy is super effective. You can sort of think of it as AoE. As in, oh, the more minions they have, the more effective this becomes. But the fact that you can synergize with it and, you know, get card draw makes it a lot more effective, in my opinion. And let's see what we get. Alright. Shaman. That can be tricky. Um, we'll keep the arcane shot in case we have something we have to remove. We won't keep the other stuff, though. We have better low-cost cards. Yeah, like these. I don't know whether I want to open with Secret Keeper. I guess I should. It's not a bad opener. I also need some secrets. I'll never tell. Otherwise, this isn't really that great of a card. Let's see. Do shamans have stealth? He may, but I think there's only one stealth possibility. It's the Jungle Panther, because it's a common card. Oh, he did Overload. Interesting. Do I want to use a snipe? I think it's a little too early for a snipe. I think for now we'll just do that. Next turn we'll do flare and maybe a snipe, just because I don't really want to use... I can't hold on to the flare forever. I don't think it gives me any benefits in this case. Unless he has a jungle panther. That's really the only time it's going to do anything for me. Alright, so we'll do... Flare. Draw a card. Oh, he's a snap draw. That's not bad. We'll do a snipe. 
in turn. Next turn, he's going to have three mana. I don't know if he's going to pull, but it should die. Probably. We'll see. Well, it does die. But I don't overly care. I think we'll do an Oasis Snapjaw then. There we go. Scavenging Hyena, we'll hold on to that. When we have some synergy with Beast. This is pretty good at trading out little minions, and as a shaman, he could summon a lot of those totems. Uh, eventually, I may s switch out with the Ancient Brewmaster. One of these, we'll see. But chance our next turn, I'm going to play Tundra Rhino. Unless I absolutely have to Arcane Shot something, which I don't think is going to happen. Because really, why would I use Arcane Shot when I can summon a Tundra Rhino and just kill it? That seems like the better move. Potentially, I can also have some synergy with these. All right, he's going for my face. Drink with me, friend. Oh, he's taking that back. Interesting. Let's see. I do have an abomination. That's AoE. We'll save that for later. For now, though, we'll take that out. Take that out. Try to maintain board control. Here's the big synergy play. If I can keep this alive and have a turn where I can lose both of these, I could use the Scavenging Hyena, get charge, buff it up, and just do maybe six damage with it. That could be useful. Obviously, it would be better if I have Unleashed the Hound, but it may or may not happen. All right, in this case, I will... Let's see, two damage. We can do Kill Command. We're going to use Kill Command on that. Um, actually, I don't have enough mana left over, do I? All right, there we go. I kind of was going to do Ancient Brewmaster to pull back my charge, because it's a fairly good card. But I kind of miscounted. Happens. We might pull it back next turn, as, as long as I get a strike in. See what he does. I wonder. See how we need seven mana for this. Oh no. Lightning bolt. Oh. Oh. That's unfortunate. Alright, so I'm not gonna use the scavenging hyena. It doesn't do anything for me at this point. Let's do summon an animal companion. That is pretty strong. Mm, I may actually want to do scavenge. No, I think I should do ancient brewmaster. I'll punch him in the face, ancient brewmaster. Yeah, I think we're in a stronger position now. All right, what are you gonna do? Unfortunately, uh, the Pandarians don't count as a beast, being a sit in your race, I guess. I don't know. I don't actually play WoW. I did play a, the Warcraft 3 map where you got a bunch of pandas. But I thought it was a joke, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell now. I wonder. Anyway, we'll see. Another totem. Uh-oh. Spell damage. That could potentially screw me over. We'll see, though. Well, he still has to punch that in the face if he wants to get through it. Are you going to punch that in the face? Thank you. I, I'm very glad you punched in the face. Let's see. I will do a snipe. Voice oh, is snap jaw. Punch that in the head. I will to do a uh, steady shot. Slowly ticking away at him. I don't know whether we're in a good position. I think we definitely have the better board. Because he's just throwing token minions. But we have less cards than him. It's a little hard to tell. Anyway. What is he going to do now? Win. 
Well, that took down the Divine Shield, I guess. He's gonna attack, what? I don't see how... I mean, he can attack me twice, but that's not too much damage. And he doesn't have enough mana to buff it. How's that gonna work? I really only have one beast, though, so scavenging hyena doesn't really make any sense. Let's see, with a steady shot, I can do two damage. I guess losing the divine shield threw him off. I guess he was gonna trade it out for this, maybe? Okay. That's, to me, that's a little weird. But, uh, whatever. This is other beasts, so none of this really works. So we're gonna do a arcane shot here. Should I punch him in the face? I think I should punch him in the face. Do I want to summon... None of these really do anything right now, so let's just leave it as... Yeah, the abomination might actually screw me over, so... Oh, it could also protect... It could protect the uh, ancient brewmaster or can kill it. Anyway, at this point, as long as it doesn't kill, I can use my hero ability twice and we'll win. At this point, I should just delay and use hero power, I guess. Unless he heals. I mean, I think Shaman... Do you have the option heal? Mm. Okay. Are these beasts? No, these count as dragons, which aren't beasts for some reason. But, uh... Yeah, I win. Honestly, I think of the decks out there, I think Hunter and Mages are just the strongest. Like, a lot of single target, a lot of AoE, a lot of secrets. They're pretty good decks, in my opinion. Maybe I should start playing Hunter more. I need more cards, though. Anyway, let's keep on going. Uh, I have both of these. I definitely want to keep the Unleashed Hound. The Snake Trap is not very useful without the other synergy stuff, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of the Abomination. Uh, fuck me. This is a terrible hand. I have too many Unleashed Hounds. Against a Mage, though, it could have use if they do... What's that, what's that damn thing called? Ooh. Ooh. We may have some synergy. We need to have them sort of flood the board. Then we can do some card draw. Ideally, I need about three minions. Summoning portal open. That is irritating. But I have uh, no way to deal with it yet. So hopefully he'll summon a lot of minions. Because until then, we can't really do anything. We need about three for it to be worthwhile, in my opinion. I am not a morning person. All right. So I guess we just got three minions on the board. Unfortunately, I don't have the mana to do this. I need about five mana. So we have to wait a few more turns. What am I going to do meanwhile? Dink them, I guess. I, I, there's nothing else to do. It's, I don't have the cards. Luckily, they're not doing that much damage, so I might be okay for a little bit. Oh, this is going to be so fucking sweet. I almost don't want to play the Ancient Brewmaster. Because they actually have the damage to kill him. But if they all sack all his minions, that's not bad either, so... I'll leave it. If they go around him, holy shit, this is going to hurt. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, he is going to trade. Damn it. I am slightly re regretting doing that, but it's still not bad. He summons one more minion. I'm okay with that. Perfect. Okay. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I mean, it's Unleashed Town. It was going to happen eventually. And we still have another combo. So for now, we'll just uh, 
trade out these. In turn. His best mood is trade that. Oh, he could have just fireball it. Never mind. He'll hit me once, then he'll it be, it'll become a 1-1. One, one. Oh, he actually... That's a little weird. Alright, I am losing a lot of health. I need to start punching back. For now, we will... Do I have any secrets? I have some snipes. That could be really useful. But for now, we'll first do Tundra Rhino. Knock that out. He is a blizzard. I don't really want to throw out a secret keeper if he's going to throw out a blizzard. Let's see. Is he going to do anything else? Frustrating. All right. In that case, I will do Animal Companion. Tougher. Is there anything else I could do? Like, don't... Uh, I guess I could have played the Gladiator Longbow. Damn it, I messed up. This is gonna hurt. I'll never tell. All right. I know I had to hit that. It's the only thing that makes sense. I may be in a bad position. We'll see. I'm gonna do two damage? He's gonna just slowly fireball it to death. Okay. Alright, um, let's see. We can freeze it. That'll give us a delay. I do kind of want to delay it. So let's do snipe, freeze. There we go. Summons another minion. We'll snipe it again. Flame strike. But he will not summon another minion. Alright, in that case, we will do Arcane Shot. We will punch him in the face. Do an animal. I should save out the Starving Buzzard. But I also need some minions. Decisions. But he may have another flame strike, so we'll leave it as this. We'll see. I need him to summon some minions, I, though I do have another snipe, so who knows whether he'll actually do it. He's gonna fireball that. That's the taunt. Okay, we can deal with that. He's gonna fireball that. Unless, yeah, there's the fireball. All right, so we'll. Mm. I don't want to throw this out and not get any value out of it. Getting one card out of it's not really worth it. So we'll throw up another one of those. Hopefully that'll screw with him a little bit. throw out Animal Companion. I kind of do. I mean, I could use the Gladiator Longbow, but it doesn't really benefit me. But still, we're in a position to win? Is this all enemies? This includes him. Okay, cool. Let's see what he does. Polymorph. Irritating. He's gonna fireball it? I'm glad I didn't use the destroy weapon option. But I win. Because, uh... This count as a beast. Yes, it does. I have actually a lot of ways to win. There's no reason to use all of them, though. There we go. Tough match. Mages are pretty strong. But uh, I think hunters are also pretty strong. So, worked out for us. Well, let's keep on going. Rexa versus Rexa. Oh, we're fighting another hunter. Interesting. I think I will keep the Timberwolf. Don't know about the snipe. 
Snipe's not that really that useful early on. Let's see if we can pull something better. He only drew one card. So potentially he has a very good hand. We'll see. I have no secret, so going Secret Keeper doesn't do anything for me. Fairy Drag. You know what? I would rather... If I throw out the Dragon, it gets traded out. If I throw out the Secret Keeper, potentially may not get traded out. We'll see. Because he might go just go for my face, thinking that I will trade it out. In which case, I'll do a uh, explosive trap and punch him. This will become a 2-3. It'll be alive by one, which is worth it. Let's see what he does. Alright, snipe chat. Is he gonna trade? He is. Okay. I'm, I mean, I would have liked that he didn't do that, but it's still an okay result. Let's go fairy dragon. Next turn, I could go Margashan Warden. Coin Margashan Warden. There's certainly not much else I could do. I guess the Explosive Trap is an option, but without knowing what he has, it's not that worth it. So if I throw out a Margashan Warden, there's a chance that opens it up to... I don't really want to kill command it. Alright. There's a chance this is a bad move. He might have a multi-shot. But we'll see. Does he have a multi-shot? I mean, if he does have a multi-shot, this is, what, a 1-4? I can still at least get rid of that. So I'll be trading, what, a 2-cost and a 4-cost for a 2-cost and a 4-cost. It's actually a fair trade. But we'll see. I think multi-shot is 3 damage. Yeah, it is. There comes the multi-shot. As expected. And we basically traded two cards for the same cost and same value for two cards. Question is, what do I want to do from this position? Uh, kill command is pointless. Damn. Well, this is the better trade. It's the best thing we could do in that position. Next turn, we'll probably do Silverhand Knight. After that, we'll do a Frost Element. Problem with Silverhand Knight, he may have another multi-shot. But, you know, you can't... You can play around what they may have, but you can't be afraid of everything and do nothing. It, that doesn't make sense. You have to get rid of the multi-shot eventually. Oh. Are you playing a secret or unleash the hounds? Interesting. Alright, in this case, I will do an arcane shot, because I don't like dealing with that. It's a- it, that card is dangerous. I, I don't want him to have that. Plus, I don't want to play Silverhand Knight, put down two minions, and have him do Unleash the Hound and gain two cards from it. I kind of lose out on that. He paid two cards to get two cards and have stuff on the board. I can freeze that. I can do Timberwolf Kill Command later on. It's not worth it yet, though, so we'll just do this for now. Without knowing what it is, I think this is the better move. I mean, potentially we could trade it out with the uh, Frost and almost will not lose, it, lose anything. The biggest concern, what is he going to do from this step? If he plays two more minions, I'll do Timberwolf Unleash the Hound. That's pretty strong. If he does... If he doesn't do that, we'll see what happens. In fact, we have seven mana, so we could do Timberwolf Unleash the Hound and Kill Command. Ah! Irritating. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Hmm. Let's see, we can do... Tundra Rhino doesn't really solve anything. Let's 
let's see. So we'll do Timberwolf Unleash the Hounds, I guess. There's just nothing else I can do. I mean, it's not the greatest train, but it clears the board. Uh, he's a little ahead in terms of cards. I have a secret on the board and a 1 1 Timberwolf. Plus, side, the Tundra Rhino does benefit, but he's going to want to get rid of the Timberwolf. It's not something you want to have leaving around. I mean, he doesn't know whether how many beasts I have. This is an arena deck. It's a little, little more undependable. Or, uh. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy way to remove it. That's unfortunate. Mm, in this case, I think I want to do Silver Hand Knight. I mean, I could try rushing the Tundra Rhino into that, but it doesn't do anything for me. We just hope he makes the mistake of attacking me in the face. If he goes for trades, he actually might come out ahead. He'll trade this for this, this for that. It still weakens him, though, so I guess it's okay. Perfect. Exactly what I want. I still take the damage, but it gets rid of the fucking knife juggler. And suddenly, a bunch of trades open up for me. His best move would be to use this to attack that. Because I'm going to have to trade it to that anyway. But we'll see. Oh, another taunt. Tricky. What is he going to do? Oh, wow. He's going for me. Interesting choice. All right, this is a concern. Let's do... I need card draw. Uh, this won't save me because he's just going to go for my face. So, how can we save ourselves? Well, we need to eliminate three of these damage sources. We'd have to do... If you insist. I think I'd lose no matter how I do this. I must attack the minion with taunt. Let's see, if I attack that, I can get rid of that, but this thing will still live. I think I'd lose no matter how I run this. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I basically can only get six damage by mm -hmm. using some combination of this with something else, or use all three of these and they all die. And that only leaves me with one thing left. Yeah, no matter how I do it, I lose. That's unfortunate. Well Still, I guess two one's not bad. Let me uh, keep on playing. Though the rest of this is going to be in a separate video that I'll release later today. See you then.